I'm Ron Nixon. I'm a reporter with the New York Times, uh, and I created this project called the Ujima Project um, a few months ago, and it's developed by African Labs here. Moses, who stand, raise your hand, Moses. It's the lead developer on it. And uh, what it does is a few years back, I was in Nigeria, and uh, some friends of mine were asking me about some Americans who were running around in Nigeria helping the former president, uh, Obasanjo, build the presidential library. Now, I mean, I don't know if you know that much about Nigeria, but the last thing Nigeria, Nigeria needs is a presidential library, right? <laughs> Um, for what? I mean, who's going to go in it? So, but these guys were getting paid millions of dollars and nobody knew who they were. Um, likewise, last year when I was in Rwanda, we were sitting and, uh, sitting and talking to some journalists about all the aid coming into the country and nobody knows where it goes. Nobody knows how it's used, nobody knows who it even goes to. And so the idea was to take this information that's not easily accessible in countries like Uganda, Rwanda, and Nigeria. But take it from the U.S. side, take it from the European Union side, take it from organizations like the Global Fund, and put it into an easily searchable web-based application that let people, lets people get access to this information. So far, what we've done is taken USAID lobbying weapons sales from the U.S., the Global Fund information, and DFID, which is the British Development Agency. And what it allows you to do is to search by country. Could you, could you click on that, please? USAID Project by So if you click on this, it brings up everything that the USAID has funded in African countries going back to 2000. It tells you how much, it tells you who's it going to, it tells you what they're supposed to be doing with this. And when I first showed this in Grahamstown, South Africa, a young woman said, well, yeah, but isn't this U.S. data? Well, it's collected by the U.S., but if you look at something like lobbying here, this is how much the government of Uganda actually pays companies in the U.S. to act on this behalf, to lobby it for various things. So, you know, they're paying millions of dollars of your money to get the U.S. to do them favors for, for a variety of reasons. And if it were, working here, what it will bring up is a list of countries, you click on the country, and it immediately brings up everything that, um, that the country has gotten either from USAID or the country has paid, or you can click on weapon sales. You can see how much Uganda actually paid companies in the U.S. for military weapons, for things like tanks, for machine guns, for tear gas, whatever. All of that information is available. Now, you know, most likely that information is not available here. If you ask someone to give you that information, they probably wouldn't give it to you. But they have to report this stuff to the donor countries. So they have very detailed information about what they actually have to give to these countries. Uh, the same thing applies to the EU. Same thing applies to companies like the country. Uh, institutions like the Global Fund. And when you look at the scale of some of this money that's actually coming in, like from the Global Fund, you see millions of dollars coming in to fight things like malaria. So if there's millions and billions of dollars coming in to fight malaria, why is there still malaria? You know, why is there still tuberculosis? Why is there, you know, HIV AIDS rates are expanding in some countries? Oh, thank you. Okay, so if you look at this, the first thing it does, it gives you a graph of like Uganda, of what's actually happening over time, and you can see how much money is being spent. Just scroll down a little bit all the way to the bottom, and actually click on Uganda. There we go. Brings up all this information about who's getting what, to do what in Uganda, if you click on 2008, because that has the most complete year. So it brings up information here. There's a company called Emerging Markets out of the US. 
have paid $2.5 million to services support Ugandan national policies and strategic plans, HIV, AIDS, tuberculosis, malaria. Um, this country, Development Alternatives, Inc., $1.9 million for something. I have no idea what. <laughs> <laughs> Commodics, you know, $2.6 million, again, for a foreign assistance program. I have no idea what. But again, so you can, the, the, the bottom line is for reporters and for other advocates of transparency, it gives you a starting point that you can actually see what people are doing in the country and how much money is actually being spent and what they're supposed to be doing with it. And you know, the, the problem with this is that from the US side, this data just sits there because a lot of people unfortunately in the US believes like a former vice presidential candidate who I won't name, <laughs> <laughs> believes that Africa is a country. <laughs> so, you know, this information is somewhat useless from that side of, of the Atlantic because, again, most people have no idea what's happening here, and to be honest, most people don't care what's happening here. So a company like Harmonix got paid $80 million to disperse HIV AIDS drugs in Kenya. How many people are in Kenya? 40 million people are in Kenya. So it works out about what, $2 per person? Okay, but not everybody in, AIDS, in Kenya has AIDS, right? <laughs> so that's a lot of money to be spending that one vendor guy to do work in a country, $80 million. And again, I'm not questioning whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm questioning that no one knows what's actually happening with this money. Are they actually doing what they say that they're doing with this money? Okay, if you click back here. <clears throat> okay, something's going to happen. <laughs> Do hang in, puppet signal. <laughs> Something's coming. Government is yeah, I know, the government's <laughs> trying to cut me off, right? <laughs> so, so what happens uh, with the lobbying information, I think is pretty interesting because while the USAID information is money coming into Uganda, the lobbying stuff in the weapon sales actually shows money that's going out. This is money that Uganda is actually paying companies in, so click on lobbying by country, actually paying companies in the U.S. to go to Congress, to go to our federal agencies to lobby on their behalf, to say that, you know, there are new human rights abuses, or there's nothing wrong in the country, so don't impose sanctions on us. Uh, this happened before the Rwandan genocide. The, go the country, the country there, the government there, paid millions of dollars to people in the U.S. to tell the U.S. government there's nothing wrong here. And that's before a hundred million people, I mean a million people were killed. Did you scroll down to the bottom here? So it's every country that we have this information on, all 53 countries, including some countries that no longer exist, like Biafra. <clears throat> Click here. Biafra for the young people existed from 1967 <laughs> to 1970. Um, okay, so you can see Uganda has been paying people in the U.S. since 1965, the year before I was born, to represent it. If you click on 2008, this brings up, okay, so this group called the Whitaker Group got paid $74,000 by the government of, of, of Uganda to contact OPEC, which is the Overseas Something Investment Corporation <clears throat> that provides money for businesses to invest in African countries. <clears throat> All right, so I, I see the red light, which means that my time is about up here. And the second one here, you can see that the government of Uganda pay $143 million to con contact our parliament and pe other people to discuss the US PEPFAR, <clears throat> the African Growth and Opportunity Act and trade issues. So again, this is money that the government of Uganda is actually paying 
people in the U.S. to do. So again, the, the idea of this project is to show money coming in so you can see what's actually being spent here in terms of aid and development, and also to show money going out, what's being spent on lobbying, and also what's being spent on things like the purchase of weapons and what those weapons are. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to talk to you guys. I enjoyed my hand puppets. Yeah. All right.